Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariongi. Today we continue with our topic of introduction to chemistry and basically uh, we are studying uh, the apparatus and today we are going to go through more apparatus especially the apparatus used to measure time, especially the apparatus used to measure volume, apparatus used to measure temperature, and so on and so forth. So we'll start with the apparatus used to measure temperature. So we have a number of apparatus that can be used to measure temperature. Uh, we have different types of thermometers. So we can say that there are different types of thermometers. For example, we have uh, maximum and minimum thermometer. We have clinical thermometer used in clinics and hospitals. And then we have general purpose thermometer. So in chemistry, uh, we basically use the general purpose thermometer uh, to measure temperature. Of course, the others have other areas where they are applied, but basically the most common is the general purpose thermometer. And it looks like this. So the general purpose thermometer uh, can either be made of uh, mercury inside as uh, the liquid or it can be made of alcohol. So and uh, basically uh, these uh, general purpose thermometer uh, should be able to measure up to 110 degrees Celsius. I should be able to measure up to 110 degrees Celsius so that it can cater for most of the reactions that take place in chemistry. Most of the reactions, they take place at a temperature uh, that is within that range, that is between zero and uh, 110 degrees Celsius. So in case this one is a, a mercury thermometer, we refer to that as the mercury bulb. We refer to that as the mercury bulb. But basically, we are saying that it can either be made of mercury or it can be made of alcohol. Uh, then we can go to the apparatus used to measure volume. And on this, we have uh, several apparatus, and we can say that uh, these include those that give approximate volumes. These ones are for, for approximating, e.g., graduated beakers. We have conical flasks. We have measuring cylinders. So these ones can be used to measure approximate volumes. 
but we have others that can measure accurate volumes others that are more accurate than this so we have for this we have graduated beakers this is just a normal beaker but it has calibrations is a normal beaker but with calibrations so this is a graduated beaker we have a conical flask A conical flask is cone in shape, has the shape of a cone, it has a So also the conical flask has some graduate, graduations and it can measure volume approximately. So these are conical flask. We have measuring cylinders. So for measuring cylinders, we have of different sizes. Some can measure up to 10 cubic centimeters, others up to 50 cubic centimeters, and so on and so forth. So we have different uh, measurements. Uh, then we also have other apparatus. We have other apparatus for measuring volume accurately these ones are more accurate where there is a very high level of accuracy uh, required uh, they include we have the gas syringe or the syringe basically uh, we have a burette We have pipette. So basically these ones are more accurate in terms of their, their measurements. So we are going to have a diagram of each. So we have a syringe, also has calibrations for measuring different uh, volumes. We have a burette. So the burette measures from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and lastly 50. So most of the burettes can measure up to 50 cubic centimeters. And they are calibrated from the top. They are calibrated from the top. That is when it is full, it records 0. So that when you open the tap, to let out the liquid that is inside there. Up to 10, then that shows that you have used the volume of 10. If you let out the liquid up to 20, and then that means you've used the volume of 20. So there is a tap on which you can open and close to measure accurate volume of liquids and solutions. 
Then we have the pipette. A pipette measures a certain specific uh, volume. For example, we have the 25 milliliters pipette. That's the most common. So the pipette, if you measure a liquid or a solution up to this mark, that shows that you have exactly 25 milliliters or 25 cubic uh, centimeters. So basically, uh, these are some of the apparatus that uh, we use to measure uh, volume. We can also have we can also have another one that uh, can give us an accurate measurement. And this one is the volumetric flask. It has a long, narrow neck. Then a wide base. and also has a lead. And also has the highest level of volume that it can measure. So this is a volumetric flask. And this is used during dilution dilution of solutions up to a given volume. So we have volumetric flasks that will measure up to 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, and so on and so forth. So basically, uh, those are the apparatus that we use to measure volume. There are those that measure approximately, and we have those that measure more accurately. So depending on the level of accuracy that is required, then that dictates which of the apparatus to use. So we'll have an assignment on that. So the assignment, number one, name three apparatus that can be used to measure A, approximate volumes, B, accurate volumes, number two, draw the following apparatus, uh, A, burette, B, pipette, and C, volumetric flask. We'll stop there until next lesson. Goodbye. <music> Thank you.